Sholden, Norway, Port of Call. The pier and the town. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's scout this out. I'm Troy and this is the Port Lowdown. Sholden is a small town at the far edge of the Sognefjord, Norway's longest and deepest fjord. It's a small village of under 500 people, so tourism is key here. You'll notice lots of hotels, small inns, and vacation home rentals. And no wonder, it's not just the mighty Sognefjord. You also have the option to tour three, count them, three national parks. Jutenheimen, Dostedalsbrim, and Bream. Not to mention the Ernest Stave Church and Europe's largest glacier, Jostedal. For us, we opted to stay in town, taking a boat ride excursion later in the day, but that's for our next video. Instead, we did next to nothing but enjoy the peace and majesty of the surroundings, which this town is known for. And you do that by starting to walk. The dock is tucked away from town, 1.4 kilometers or about a 20 minute walk north. Off ship, you face a small but clean and tidy terminal. Extensive tables and chairs are available for relaxing or taking advantage of the Wi-Fi. Some taxis are available for service to smaller towns or outlying areas, but probably best to book ahead. Bear in mind, this village is small and isolated. There's no public transportation to speak of. There's also walking maps with nearby hiking trails. You'll find little hiking trails all over Norway, and it's certainly a fallback option for do-it-yourself. Two public toilets also, very clean. And your requisite gift shop with your requisite trolls, vikings, and moose, with a touch of poetry. Outside is essentially a parking lot for the tour buses and the road leading to town. The walk is peaceful, flat with smooth sidewalks, and scenic. You're rubbing elbows with amazing nature and the everyday business of the locals. En route, you'll pass boathouses, a hotel, a cafe, and next to that is the Tent for Adventure Tours Norway, who not only do boat tours, but also hiking, fishing, and bike rentals where you can explore the local paths. Lovely views looking back. And benches to sort of mull over the beauty of it all. By the way, if you're enjoying our tour through town, hit us up with a like and consider subscribing. We have lots of helpful and enjoyable videos on the way. Also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, X, and Threads. Now the promenade will stop going straight and turn right. You'll see a bridge up ahead and a handy sign. One of the signs is pointing to Asafoss and Waterfall, but we opted to stay close to town. But looking at Google later, hey, we missed out. Look at this, and a giant hand. And a three kilometers, about 1.5 miles, not a bad walk, certainly. Now cross the bridge for stunning views, naturally, and a short stroll through the town center. There isn't much going on, but that's the point. Check out the cool houses and chill. Plus, you can pet a llama, just not us on that day. At the town center is Fjordstova, a combination tourist info and community center. When in town, this is a must visit. Extensive hiking info. Seriously. Cafe. Local handcraft store. And for the locals, a climbing wall and indoor swimming pool. Plus a Viking ship. Next to that is the Coop Mart, the only place in town for local groceries and sundry items. Not as big a selection as other places, but serviceable for the basics. Now we recommend a short stroll beyond to a special spot that marks the end of the Sognefjord, a bench that hardly sees visitors. Take in the majesty and enjoy some wonderful silence. It's amazing. Along the way, check out the red sculpture John Sock a symbol of the bonds between Norwegians and their families who immigrated to America. This whole side of the bridge is lovely and absolutely peaceful, used by locals for barbecues and such. But it's also just a great place just to explore. Next up, check out our excursion highlight for Skolden, where we go on a boat adventure. All right, guys, we do it all for the channel. Have you been to Skolden? What's your experience? Let us know in the comments.